Hey folks, Dr. Hagmar here, and today we're talking about MTHFR, its connection to depression, heart disease, detoxification, migraines. We're going to also talk about the mutation of this MTHFR gene and its connection to methylation. Now, this may not sound terribly interesting, but I promise you that if you are suffering with any kind of chronic health problem, understanding this is crucial to your health. I'll also talk about some of the different diseases that are actually associated with the different MTHFR mutations, like the 1298 and the 677 mutation, and I'll also cover why I believe it's so important to have this tested. Okay, so let me start with the basics. MTHFR actually stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase. Now, other than being a, a big word and uh, fun to say and, and just being a mouthful, it, it's an enzyme that's responsible for methylation in every single cell of your body. So you're probably thinking, what the heck is methylation? Okay, so bear with me here just for a moment. I'm gonna explain all that to you. But methylation is extremely important, okay? If you don't methylate properly, nothing goes right inside your body, okay? Technically speaking, methylation is the adding or the removal of a methyl group to a compound in your body, okay? Now, while this doesn't sound very exciting, what happens inside your body is either going to reflect in sickness and disease or just incredibly vibrant health, okay? Now, when, someone, uh, when some compounds receive a methyl group, I want you to think of this as, as starting a spark or a, or a reaction in your body, okay? This reaction when your body receives, when this, when this compound receives a methyl group, can be something like turning on a gene or activating an enzyme. When the methyl group is lost or removed, the reaction stops or the gene is turned off or the enzyme becomes deactivated, okay? Think of it like, think of your, 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 um, your body or think of uh, your human body as, as a car, okay? Methylation adds the spark plug, okay? So without methylation, everything stops. So you can have a beautiful car, but it never ever moves out of the garage, okay? So what's the connection of MTHFR and methylation and why is it important, okay? Well, here's why. The MTHFR gene produces an enzyme called methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, okay? The job of this enzyme does many things, but one that I want you to know about is the conversion of an amino acid called homocysteine and how homocysteine gets converted into methionine, okay? Now this is huge because elevated homocysteine levels puts a person at increased risk for heart attacks, it puts a person at increased risk for strokes, and, and just about any disease process where inflammation is, is a problem, okay? Now, what if you have heart disease or high blood pressure or some other heart-related condition, and you go into your doctor, and your doctor's really not concerned with your body's ability to methylate, and all he or she does is give you a blood pressure pill, a statin, a calcium channel blocker, or some other kind of cardiovascular medication. Can you see how this doesn't address the root cause of, of why you have the problem in the first place? You have to support those methylation pathways. So if that's you, go to your doctor, get tested for that MTHFR gene, and it's so simple, okay? I really encourage you to do this. Now, the other thing I want you to understand here is that all methylation re reactions inside your body, all those sparks going off inside your, your cells, require an active form of an amino acid methionine called SAMe. Now, SAMe is critical because it helps regulate more than 200 different enzymes in the human body, okay? Without SAMe, you're not sparking, okay? Methylation doesn't happen, and life as you know it just stops, and you die, okay? So this is why methylation is so important. Now, methylation also is involved in the production and actually the recycling of neurotransmitters. So not only making these neurotransmitters, but also breaking them down, okay? So think about this. Do you know someone who's depressed? someone who has anxiety, somebody who can't sleep at night, somebody who has migraines, somebody who has lost their happiness, their joy, their desire, their motivation in life, their gratitude. This is neurotransmitters, okay? Um, there are also the neuro neurotransmitters that can affect gastric motility, okay? And if we think about the, the different neurotransmitters like serotonin, uh, serotonin has a, a, a huge impact on gastric motility. So it can cause things like diarrhea, a lack of serotonin or too much serotonin, you know, can do just the opposite. Um, a lack of gastric motility can lead to um, an impairment in the, the, uh, the functional motor waves of the gut. So that can lead to things like small intestinal bacterial overgrowth 
and many other different kinds of bowel disorders. Okay, so neurotransmitters are, are not only important for the brain, but they're also important for GI health. Okay, now as you can imagine, when your body's methylation levels are low because of an MTHFR mutation, so are the sparks inside your brain, so are the sparks inside your digestive system. Okay, low production of neurotransmitters can lead to a lot of different things. For, if we're talking about the brain, it could be things like addictive uh, personalities or addictive behaviors, it can be depression, it can be anxiety, it can be a, uh, ADHD, it can be mania, it can be irritability, we talked about insomnia, learning disorders, irritable bowel, irritable bowel, and just so many different other things, okay? So this is the connection that the uh, MTHFR mutation has with the neurological consequences or neurological functions in your body. So again, get tested for this if you suffer with any of these problems, okay? The other thing is this, Healthy methylation is also crucial for the elimination of toxins and heavy metals. And that's the one most people typically associate um, methylation with, the elimination of, of these heavy metals. One of the biggest problems I see with MTHFR sufferers is that, again, they're not clearing these heavy metals or hormones from their body. They're not detoxifying properly, okay? And this, again, is why I believe problems like autism and ADHD, behavioral problems, anxiety, depression, and almost any other neurological problem that you can actually think of can be connected to the MTHFR. Again, because it reduces the body's ability to clear toxins in a timely manner. So again, the sparks aren't flying, okay? So again, it's this little mutation of a gene, this MTHFR mutation, that can be contributing, uh, be a contributing cause behind so many of the different problems that are going on inside your body. And again, it's worth looking into, all right? So perhaps you uh, have gone to a doctor and you did get tested for an MTHFR mutation and you're looking at your blood work and you're like, what the heck does all this mean? Okay, so let's break this down, let's digest it a little bit and, and talk specifically about what each of these mutations are and what they mean, okay? So the first thing is, is if you tested positive for the 677T mutation, this is gonna be associated with things related to cardiovascular. So these are gonna be your elevated homocysteine levels. This will be things like cardiovascular disease. This might be peripheral neuropathy. This could be strokes. This could be migraines. It could be miscarriages. It could be neural tube defects, okay? Now, there's also another variant or mutation that's worth mentioning, and this is the 1298C variant. Often when someone tests positive for the 1298C variant, what we're gonna see is fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, uh, chronic pain, schizophrenia, uh, we'll see irritable bowel syndrome, headaches, migraines, and those kinds of things, okay? Now, if you look at your blood work, you're also gonna notice that uh, next to the mutation, there's either something that says heterozygous or homozygous, okay? Uh, homozygous meaning the same, hetero meaning different, okay? People with a heterozygous MTHFR have one normal gene and one altered gene, okay? Now what happens is, is when you have, uh, or when you test positive for heterozygous MTHFR uh, mutation, this can cause a deficiency or a decrease in enzyme activity by as much as 50%, okay? If you are homozygous, meaning both of your MTF, uh, MTHFR genes are anomalies, now your enzyme uh, ability can, can drop as much as 90% and your system will only be methylating at a, at a rate of about 10% to 20% of its normal ability, okay? Now, one thing I want to be clear on about this, okay, is if you tested heterozygous, again, one normal and one mutation, this doesn't necessarily equate to not having a methylation problem, and that's so very important. It's a very common mistake that I see um, a lot of people make in terms of whether or not to, to start a, a regimen of treatment, okay? Well, I hope you, this uh, video just is um, informative. I hope it helped you understand just a little bit more about this, um, this test. And I'll be doing a second part to this video series, which I'll get into a whole lot more detail about the kinds of supplements you want to avoid, the kinds of supplements you want to take, symptoms that you might experience if you take too much of these supplements, um, the wrong kinds of supplements, uh, just a lot of other great information. So stay tuned, and until next time, take care.